each one of our rooms does a certain purpose. This is an assembly room. This one in here is fabrication. When you get inside here, everything we deal with, the mill, the, uh, the lathe, everything's old. We like working with real old stuff. This is an old bridge port. And uh, what we're doing right now, what are we making? I'm making a bracket for that cart. Oh. <laughs> off. That's yeah. nothing. They're making the, oh yeah, there is housekeeping. Exactly. Okay. Um, inside here, we uh, we actually have to we have to make parts. Everything that we get in is something unique, and we either we make it. We have to make it. This is actually a 1930s go kart from the day. This is called a Custer car. The customer came in with it, and what they wanted to do is uh, is make it work fast now. So inside we had to fabricate a total new uh, frame. We had to design it to where it was um, capable of holding brakes and a, and a throttle, uh, brand new motor, bigger motor, and also ran in bearings to make the thing spin. So this is, this is an old frame with a brand new chassis. This is actually a cup dispenser. Sometimes parts come in, they're missing. So what we have to do here is this used to hold a piece of glass like this. So what we had to do is we had to actually um, lay this piece of uh, stock of, um, it was I think quarter inch uh, aluminum. We had to lay it out to where we can make it into that piece. It's totally missing and there's, there's nobody with one. So what it does is it goes inside here like that and then has a big glass tube on the top that actually held cups. Out in the back, we build big stuff. Everything's big out here. So right now we're fabricating. We're right now we're fabricating a stand to hold a swing. We're actually making something that goes to a ski resort, and we're using the natural resources from the ski resort, and they're big logs. But we have to take and fabricate a base because of the snow. You have to be able to walk on it, and it also has to hold up the structure of the swing set. So that's what we're doing here. We do a lot of tigging, we do a lot of migging, we do a lot of fabricating, metal making. Uh, everything we do <laughs> takes welding, heating, uh, migging, every single thing we do takes that. There's nothing we can get away with where we just sand it, paint it, and out the door it goes. This, uh, we went to an auction a little while back and we're into old stuff. We're into restoring stuff. So we ended up getting this old brake and uh, we ended up taking and fixing, making the, 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 you know, the, the, the main components of it, we cleaned them all up. But the total piece itself, I wanted to keep all old and rustic because uh, it sort of gives it character, just like the guys using it. This thing here, this is for the, you know, this is for the show, and a lot of pieces we do, we like waiting until they're finished to show everybody. But this is actually a frame of a, of a utility car that they only, they only made 150 of them, but there's only three left in the world, and none of them run. So our objective is to make this thing run and structurally sound. So, so Dave's over here actually making the frame again. Keep hauling ass. I'm not stopping. No way. No way. Just keep hauling ass. You know what I mean? I gave this truck to Tyler about a year and a half ago for his uh, graduation for, uh, from graduating high school. And what Tyler came in and did, I, it, was, it was sort of set up. It was lowered a little bit. But he went and he took out the entire frame, threw the frame away, and actually is hand building this frame you know, from scratch. Uh, he's narrowed the rear end. He's, they went and, and built this whole chassis above the bed. They've got bags. They've got, uh, they're doing the, uh, the four link system inside here. You can see the whole frame's been gusseted out. They got airbags in there. They built shock mounts. They've, I mean, every single thing on it's all been rebuilt. All that's left original is basically the shell of the body. So by the time they're done, it'll be all tubbed out. It'll look really, really clean, but it is a long, long project. 
They've ta taken and, and built a total floorboard on it, redid it all, got it up off the ground, made it to where you could close the door. This usually is not here. It would go all the way in. Now it's been raised so that they can lower the rest of the chassis. Inside the, the inside here has all been redone. Uh, they took and they're putting a Ford power, power plant inside there. You can sort of see how they did the, uh, the swing arms. Swing arms have all been redone, bagged, all been hand built, everything on it. It's just basically, the only thing left on it that was, that was here was the uh, body. He does things a little differently than I do. He, he went all brand new, but pretty cool. I'm Rick Dale with Rick's Restorations, and you're watching FF Journal TV.